article on Clemson University's website states, One of the strongest objective evidences for the validity of Christianity and the reliability of the Bible is the phenomenon of fulfilled prophecy. The Bible is unique among all other religious books in this regard. Although a few other religious books have made prophetic predictions, none of these predictions has been specifically fulfilled like those in the Bible. The Bible contains literally hundreds of specific prophecies that have been fulfilled in specific ways. Furthermore, the Bible actually sets itself up for objective verification based on the fulfillment or non-fulfillment of its prophecies. And this is the story of just one of those prophecies. In Ezekiel chapter 26, we read of several specific prophetic predictions against the city-state of Tyre. They include that Nebuchadnezzar would destroy the mainland city of Tyre, and that the debris of the city would be thrown into the water. Also, that the city would become a bare rock, and that many nations would come against Tyre. Again, there was a prophecy that the city would never be rebuilt, and that fishermen would spread their nets over the site. Amazingly, each of these predictions was completely fulfilled in history. Interestingly enough, they were not fulfilled at the same time and place. But here's how they were fulfilled. In 573 BC, King Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the mainland city of Tyre after a 13-year siege. However, upon entering the city, he found that the majority of the people had fled by ship to the island city of Tyre, only about a half mile off the coast. King Nebuchadnezzar and his armies left, and the people of the island city of Tyre thought that they were safe from invaders. Then, in 332 BC, Alexander the Great came to conquer the city-state. Upon discovering the abandoned ruins of the mainland city, Alexander's men were taunted by the people on the island city who were confident that no one could ever again destroy them. This enraged Alexander, and since his navy was still far off, he ordered his men to begin constructing a causeway from the mainland to the island, using the debris from the mainland city. Thus, he fulfilled the prophecy which predicted that the debris of the city would be thrown into the water. Upon completion of the causeway, Alexander's navy arrived. He had ships from nations that he had conquered like Sidon, Eridus, Byblus, Cyprus, and many other nations who would help him in his campaign against Tyre. Again, Alexander fulfilled a prophecy that many nations would come against Tyre. The remnants of Tyre remained until it was utterly destroyed by Muslims in AD 1291 during the Crusades. At that point, the city of Tyre was turned to ruins and remains ruins to this day. Although the modern city of Tyre exists a few miles down the coast, the ancient city has never been rebuilt, thus fulfilling that prophecy. The fulfillment of another prediction can be observed today. The only thing left on the site of the original city is a small fishing village. Even today, fishermen can be seen drying their nets upon the rocks. The fulfilled prophecies about the city-state of Tyre are evidence that the Bible is indeed trustworthy. Tyre was destroyed and every detail of the prophecies about that city were fulfilled with absolute accuracy. But while this is compelling evidence that the Bible can and should be trusted, the ultimate question is this. Is your life, the way you live your life, enough evidence to convince anyone of the reliability of the Bible?